Hey guys, it's Mrs. Blue, back with another art lesson. Uh, let's start with the usual. I have a YouTube channel called Mrs. Blue, Let's Make Some Art. If you email me pictures of your completed projects to jlpick at cps.edu, you may have an opportunity to win a virtual golden paintbrush. So cool. Today I have two repeat golden paintbrush winners because I just can't get enough. So get ready. Trumpet please. Here's our first golden paintbrush winner. Miley is our first golden paintbrush winner today. Look at Miley's Kandinsky squares and concentric circles heart. It's pretty awesome. The color she used on this is out of this world and it is so neat. I mean really super 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 impressive. Uh, so we have a second golden paintbrush winner. Drum roll please. Our second golden paintbrush winner is Miss Maisie. Maisie is doing every project with us and her projects are turning out so awesome. Look at Maisie's owl. It looks so real. It looks like it's looking through a hole in a tree. I really love this owl, Maisie. Nice work. Someone should tell Maisie there's a strange man behind her. I don't know what he's doing. We should all be a little bit worried. Okay, so those are our golden paintbrush winners today. Nice job, guys. Keep up the good work. Okay, so today our project is these super fancy birch trees. It's a little bit hard to see, but in the background, there's this blue and this gray, so it looks snowy. So it looks kind of like a snowy background. So we're going to be using watercolor paints today. So let's go through all of the supplies you'll need to complete this project. Okay, so you need today two pieces of white paper, like so, two pieces of white paper. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need a pencil and an eraser. You're going to need some watercolor paints. Then, of course, along with the watercolor paints, you're going to need some water. And you're also going to need, which I don't think we've used yet, some glue. I have a glue stick here. You may also use liquid glue, whichever you prefer. I find glue sticks to just be a touch easier and less messy, but it's totally up to you. So these are the supplies you need to create these beautiful wintry birch trees. So I'm going to move the paint aside. I don't need my paint yet. Um, and we are going to start with the background. So I don't need my scissors yet. I do need one piece of paper. I'm gonna use this paper I already got a little water on because we're about to get it wet. Um, so that's not true, I lied. You do need your watercolors. We're gonna use those first. We're gonna create the background first. So we don't even need a pencil or eraser. We're just gonna freestyle paint the background so it looks very blustery and wintry, which is super fun. So I'm gonna open up my watercolors and I am going to paint some blue. Let me get some blue here. You can see me dipping my brush in the blue. And I am going to just start painting like so on the top. Just a nice blustery wintry sky. Leaving, you know, leave some scattered white spaces in between. Oh yes, that's looking so lovely. And we're only going to do this on about the top third of the paper. So just like that on the top third of the paper. Now on the bottom third, I'm going to paint a little bit of blue like this. But I want the bottom portion of the paper to look a little bit like a uh, like snow or like just a snowy background. So I'm adding just a touch of black 
a little black goes a long way. So you don't need a lot. That's all I'm going to add. And then I'm just going to get a little water and I'm going to blend it. And I say this every week. You guys know if you don't have watercolors, get some crayons, get some markers. It'll look awesome. And I always like to just, you know, blend a little bit up into this middle area just so it doesn't look like it goes one color, blank, two colors. So I just did a bit of blending and I like that for my wintry background. Super simple wintry background. Nothing tricky about it. Now for a moment we are done with our watercolors but not permanently. We're still going to need the black watercolor in a little bit. But I'm going to take this paper and I'm going to set this paper off to the side to dry while I'm drawing the birch trees. So here's my paper facing tall. So we want this paper facing tall, not long. Oh, did you guys see my shirt today? It says make art. Look, it's, oh, backwards. Edvard Munch, Claude Monet, Edgar Degas Dancer, uh, Hokusai's Wave. I can't do the reflection. So yeah, all the most famous artworks on this shirt. Okay, um, Sunday in the Park right here here and starry night right here Vincent van Gogh okay so papers facing the tall way so we're gonna draw three or let's draw more let's draw like five birch trees uh super simple so we don't want to stress out about these birch trees they're gonna go from the top of the paper to the bottom we are not using a ruler because these are trees they are in nature so we're not using a ruler so we're gonna go like this I'm gonna start at the top and I'm just gonna draw a line like this. And it can be slightly wavy. That looks more realistic. And a line like this. I don't want it to be too skinny or it'll be very hard to cut out. And I'm gonna put some X's right here. These X's tell me that this space is trash. It is not a birch tree because I don't wanna get confused. Okay, now I'm gonna draw a second birch tree. Maybe this birch tree goes like this and it has a little bit of angle to it. Oh, that's going to look so realistic. Now I'm Xing out this space. This is trash. I'm going to not use that space on my completed artwork. Maybe this is a double birch tree that goes like this. Whoa, trash, trash. See how it gets confusing? And now let's do one more. Why not? One more. You could even do trash. Okay, now I'm ready to cut. And I, did I just put X's on a birch tree? No, look, that's how confusing it is. Okay, I only put X's on the trash and all the birch trees are blank. So I'm gonna cut out the birch trees like so. And you guys know, I always do things a little sloppy so that I don't waste your time too much. So you guys take your time cutting. I'm gonna cut kind of fast and sloppy. Whoa, this paper's a little thin. So look, you can see. Oh, you can't see because it's so bright right now. But look, there's an X. That's trash. Okay, so that's trash. Here we go. I'm going to keep this paper here so you can see. Trash. Keep. Cycle. Keep. Recycle. Do you guys see the major band-aid on my finger? I was using a grater the other day while cooking to grate some cheese and I grated my finger. I temporarily thought my finger was some Parmesan and I grated part of the fingernail. So gross. Okay, tree recycle. So this is all recycling and now I just have to cut this little 
inside portion. You can't even see it because it's glowing so bright right now. I apologize, but as soon as I get it on the wintry background, it will be great. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna get a yellow paper so you can actually see what this stuff looks like. There we go. All right, now here. Here's my trees cut out, sloppier than sloppy can be. Now I'm going to take my brush and my watercolors. Here they are again. And I want not very much water on my brush. So I'm gonna really kind of go like this, make sure there's not very much water. And I just barely touched my brush to the black. And now I want to make those famous lines that make the birch tree, some short, some long, some coming from opposite sides. And they're gonna get a little bit, I'm doing this on the yellow paper so I don't get messy lines on my completed artwork. A little, little more black, time for a redip. You can even do some thicker ones like this. Right, we're just making this look like a birch tree. I'm gonna kind of make them a little sloppier. I think they'll look more like the bark of a birch tree. Do you know that uh, Native Americans used to use the bark of a birch tree as sunscreen? Because if you take your hands and you rub your hands on the bark, it's like kind of a white chalky substance. And uh, they could put that on their face or their body, and it acted as a barrier from the sun. Here's your interesting fact for the day. Okay. Hello there. And imagine I do the same thing to these three trees. Then. You're going to take your background. Here's my background. It's reappearing. I'm going to use the paint again in a moment. And after these trees are dry, and they won't take long to dry, you're going to take your glue, and I better do this on top of the yellow paper because I don't want to get scraps of paint on my background. And I'm going to put glue all along this tree and I'm gonna start on one side and I'm gonna glue my tree to the background, like so. And it's gonna look just like a wintry birch tree scene. I figure we'll squeeze in this activity. It's not quite summer yet. There we go. And then you keep going until you have glued on all of your trees with all of their bark lines. Then I recommend, again, you get almost all the water out of your brush. There's my brush. And I'm going to get a little bit of black paint. And you can be super cool and you can do like this. And you can add a little branch coming out like that. Oh, that's so cool. Maybe there's a little... Look at, you can add some branches and look how fancy, you guys. Here's the completed copy right here. Let me move my brush out of the way. And there you have it, Winter Birch Trees. Super simple, fun, awesome project. I hope you guys enjoyed this project today. I think it's very fun. Make sure you have glue and scissors to complete this project and have fun. Go to town. Uh, okay, I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Have a great night and bye. I'll see you to make more art tomorrow.